are fly fishing on the beautiful Bow River. That means the travel guys are in Calgary, Alberta next. Got anything yet? Nothing. I got a bite. I hit the ground. And I'm Darren Parkman. And we are the Travel Guys. Well, my friend, you have your Stampeders jersey on. I'm wearing my Flames jersey, which must mean we're showing our colors in one of our favorite cities in the country. Yes, it's Calgary, Alberta. Coming up, we will try our hand a little fly fishing on the mighty Bow River. You gotta have patience for this, don't you? You really do, yeah. You know what be nice right now? What? Some alcohol. We'll delve into a deep investigation into the city's famous public houses. Most people just call that a pub crawl. I like my wording better, actually. Right. Yeah. And we'll make some new friends at the world-famous Calgary Zoo. I really bonded with that little penguin there, didn't I? Well, someone would say a little too much. Look at this guy doing, he likes my shoe here. He's, I think he likes me, he's got, he's got his foot on me. <laughs> All that and a lot more coming up, so stick around. Well, my friend, we are at a very swanky restaurant. I'm not used to swanky. No. At home, I eat a lot of chuck wagon craft dinner. You know what that is? Wieners and craft dinner. That's not swanky. We're at a place called the River Cafe on Prince's Island in downtown Calgary. And this place, dare I say it, is swanky. You know what's great about this, buddy, though? We came over here. What's great is that in the middle of downtown Calgary, you've got this environmental oasis where, where this restaurant is situated. Great food. It's a beautiful night. What do you, and let's tell our viewers what you're having. Uh, you forgot to mention Swanky, by the way. I'm having the uh, the tenderloin here, which is succulent. And what are you having? I'm having uh, Swanky Bison, which is fantastic. This, yes. is, this is some good food. If you're in Calgary, check out this place. Well, after a great meal here at the River Cafe, we've actually moved up to the bar because this place has everything. And uh, how are you doing tonight? Are you okay? You know, there's a reason you and I were put on this big, beautiful blue marble. I like to call Earth, and that is to impart information, impart important information to people. Impart important information to people. Wow. That's why we came to be on this big blue marble that I like to call Earth. So big, big blue marble would be Earth, then, is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I that's wow. what I'm saying. Uh, I noticed your glass is empty. How many drinks have you had? I'm not at liberty to say at this Okay, juncture. but this we're on this big blue say. marble. Well, now it's time to embark on a little something we like to call the official Royal Commission Inquiry into the operation and history of Calgary's public houses. Why don't we just call it Jim and Darren's Pub Crawl, huh? Actually, that does flow better. Thank you. Okay. Well, we kick off Jim and Darren's self-serving pub crawl at a hopping little joint in downtown Calgary. It's national. That's right. Come on in here and you can check out 72 different types of beer. And I'm, I'm seriously considering sampling every one of those beers. I've got this fuel book till Tuesday. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. 72 different types of drafts. That's right. And I would expect nothing less from you, sir. Boy, this pub crawling thing is grueling. It really it? is, yes. yes. Uh, two questions for you. Uh, what are we drinking and where are we? Well, what we're drinking is Grasshopper. It's from a local brewer called Big Rock, and we are at a place called The Living Room. We're at a bar called The Living Room? Yeah. That is so weird. It's eerie. It's what? like a parallel universe. Well, because I have a living room at home where I live, and yeah. it's also full of booze. And here we are in a place called Living Room with lots of booze. Yeah. I mean, do you see the correlation? Uh, yeah, I really do. I, unfortunately, Spooky. I do. Spooky. Yeah. So where are we now on Jim and Darren's Pub Crawl? We're at a very cool, funky joint called Bar C. Uh -huh. And uh, take a little break from the beer. What are you yes. drinking? Well, in all the years we've been doing the show, I've never actually had a drink called a Japanese birthday cake. Uh, that's what I'm having now. I got a little something called a Cloud Nine. Delicious. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that is good. That uh, is tasty. Yeah, you got a little something. Uh, right there. I do? Yeah, yeah. That's a little embarrassing. Yeah. 
I, I get it? Yes, you did. Absolutely. Cheers. Well, we wrap up our pub crawl where we began here at the fabulous National. And uh, Woo, party. I was going to say, we got good news. You're actually really doing what you said you were going to do. You're trying all 72 of the beers they offer here. Well, I'm keeping track on the tote board. I'm at, I'm at number 69. Congratulations. I'm 72. I've got wow. three more to go. Excellent. It's good stuff, man. Wow, Delicious. well done. Yeah. I, I'm not really sure where he's going, but anyway. You can check out some great pubs and bars on 17th Avenue, known as the Red Mile. And, uh, okay. And he's gone again. Great pubs here. But... Excuse me. Hey, cheers. 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 Throw it along there. It's OK. <laughs> anyway, that does it for the Jim and Darren pub crawl here in Calgary. i got to look after him. When you come to Calgary, one of the uh, tourist attractions you've got to check out is right downtown. It's called the Calgary Tower. And uh, it happens to be right behind us. Yes, it does. And you know I like to make you confront your fears. I know you have a fear of heights, so you know where this is going? This is going with me going up there and crying, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we're now 525 feet up at the observation deck of the Calgary Tower. And what's cool about this tower is, and I know you're going to love this, it actually has a section that has a glass floor that you can look all the way down, 525 feet down. Uh -huh. It's very cool. The whole effect is really kind of cool. You can see little cars and people down The People look like ants down here. Uh, you coming out or? I know you have a fear of heights. I can see everything fine here. This looks just you know, great. Come on, it's, just, come on, it's, it looks it really. I think I'm gonna be look. okay actually come out on, here. Just, just take a look down there. Take a look down there. <laughs> yes, the paralyzing fear of heights. You all right out here? Are you okay? Are you gonna crawl back? I notice there's a four-year-old boy beside me that isn't afraid. <laughs> I'm digging it, man. Let me just get a closer look here. <sighs> I've never been more relaxed. Jim, why don't you come out here and have a look at this? Man, that is one big honking tower behind us. More travel guys from Calgary coming up next. Whew, a little nippy today, I huh? know. Well, we, but sunny. Beautiful here. Beautiful day. Now, it's been several years since we've been in Calgary. Uh, thoughts on what we're seeing that's new here? You know, I'm surprised at how trendy Calgary is. Yeah. I think a lot of people think of it as a uh, you know a cowboy town, yeah, yeah. the stampede and all, but man, there's a lot of trendy places here. Yeah. What do you think? I keep getting more and more impressed every time we come here about how much bigger and better uh, the food selection is here. There's some really great, trendy, uh, very well-known uh, restaurants and bars here. So that's really improved. They really become a big food city. We're, uh, we're really wearing bright red uh, uniforms now, aren't we? Well, we're trying to show our support for several of the local teams. It's, it's hard to even look at your jersey, <laughs> though. It's, it's kind of blinding. A lot of great memories here, and uh, one in particular over the years is particularly terrifying for me. Well, I guess what that would be. Would that be that little visit we did at the Olympic Park? Calgary Olympic Park. Okay, this is already getting very scary. Can we stop soon? Oh my god. Oh, hi. Help. We're doing it. We're, We're doing, doing it. it. Yeah. Get me back. scary to even yeah. watch, isn't it? You know, I said it before and I'll say it now. I've never heard either one of us scream for 90 seconds without stopping. And I remember you started weeping right after I that. I was crying, a little yeah. bit crying there, but luckily the tears were blowing. It's just a just Don't, a don't be ashamed. Ride. No, I'm don't not be ashamed. But it's something you really got to try when you're here in Calgary. You know, one of the cool things about Market is they actually feature a little thing called a bartender's challenge which is pretty cool. You actually can challenge the bartender here at Market to uh, make the drink of your choice. That's right, sir. Now, 
if you watch the show a lot, and we know a lot of you do, Darren and I like to throw the drinks back. So we have asked Rebecca Davis, she's the chief head mixologist here, to come up with something that will satisfy our palates. I, uh, I'm going to go first here. Uh, Campari, can you make me something with Campari Absolutely. that I'll like? I'm looking forward to it. Okay, Jim? I will make it very simple for you. Uh, something with vodka. We're timing you. We're timing you. Go. I know there's Campari in here, but tell us about this drink. It looked like you did a lot of stuff back there. There was some fire I saw. I mean, uh... So what I started with was some fresh thyme, just muddled it, dry muddled it, and then I added some Campari, some Luxardo Maraschino liqueur, uh, poured it over ice, and then what you saw with the flame, I'm just bringing out the essential oils of the orange, and then rimming it and releasing the oils into the drink. Wow, wow. Well, here's to dry muddling and chartreuse. Let me try it. Delicious, that is good. So what am I drinking here? My base was the Hangar One Kefir Lime Vodka. So I started with a fresh egg white, a little bit of ginger lemongrass simple syrup that we make here at Market, and then it's dry shaken and then shaken again and double strained. All right, here's the test. See, that's fantastic. Would you mind moving into my house? Because there's no way I could make that. That's gorgeous. What's the philosophy here at Market? What are you looking to do for your customers? Well, everybody's doing the local and sustainable these days, and we wanted to do that but elevate it at the same time. Uh, with fine dining background, we got some interesting tools that we use as well. Uh, nothing farther from the BC to outside of Canada region. What's your um, signature dish? What would you recommend for us? We just my, got here. My signature dish, dish personally, is an agnolotti that I do. But as far as everything else, we change the menu so frequently. Uh, our bison tartare, though, that's been on since day one. Well, my friend, this is actually a little bit surreal. Yeah. Uh, we're here uh, on a sunny day in Calgary, about to do some trout fishing, but we haven't really left the city. No, that's right, buddy. The Bow River right behind us, it winds through the city and it allows for some great fishing. You're a better fisherman than I am, of course, uh, but tell me what of we're going to catch. Of course, yeah. Well, you are. Uh, tell me, what, what type of fishies are we going to catch out there today? Uh, we're, go we're going trout fishing today. Trout we're going fishing, fishing trout. Okay. And uh, how am I looking, man? I got the gear on, I'm pumped. Well, I don't think you're going to be looking any near near as good as me, actually, I think. Uh, but yeah, you're okay. If I had to describe your look right now, I'd have to say aging moron. <laughs> aging moron? Yeah. <laughs> you got that aging moron thing going on. And, and I, if I had to describe you, I'd say young hipster. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's do some fishing. Look at the ice. There's still ice here. It's spring and there's ice. Get in the boat before you hurt somebody. <clears throat> A little souvenir to take home, piece of Calgary ice for you, <laughs> your friend. Well, I That's don't want you. it. No, go ahead, take I've it. I've got water at home. This I is Calgary ice right here. You gotta have patience for this, don't you? You really do, yeah. You know what would be nice right now? What? Some alcohol. You know what's kind of cool? It's a beautiful sunny day here, early spring in Calgary, yeah. but there's still snow on the banks of the Bow River here. That's yeah, beautiful. Very quiet, peaceful, and as we said, downtown is just a couple kilometers away. Caught anything yet? I got a bite earlier. I don't know if I told you. <laughs> I'll alert the media. I gotta tell you, my friend, this is one of the more beautiful places we've ever had the uh, chance to fish. Just oh, gorgeous out here. Very quiet, peaceful, sunny. Super nice, and we haven't caught anything yet, but uh, in the interest of good television, I think we should maybe flash back to the times we did catch fish. What do you think? Good idea. Take a look. <laughs> He's losing line here. Ten footer here, but... <laughs> the size of that thing. Holy smokes, Jimmy. Come on, baby. Uh, uh. Oh, there we oh, go. Get that. Nice That's size. a pike, eh? It's not a bad size, right? Is that hard to reel? No, I just make that sound. Okay. Bring it up, bring it up. Uh, you got two. two. You got two on there. Look at that. A double whammy. Wow. Pygmy mackerel. Pygmy mackerels. You know, during that flashback, I actually caught a trout, but I threw it back. Did you see that? Yeah, sorry, folks. He really yeah. did. Yeah. It's time for a little thing we like to call Jim and Darren Meet the People. 
or as it's also known, approaching total strangers that would normally ignore us. Let's go. Daniel, we're new in town here. Uh, what is the uh, coolest thing about Calgary? The blue skies. A lot of sun here, isn't Lots there? Of sun, Lots yeah, of sun. Lots of sun here. What is the best thing about Calgary? Uh, I'd say the proximity to the mountains. Okay. I think you're 45 minutes away from Canmore. It's great to get out. I mean, you turn any weekend into a little vacation, so I think that's a nice perk. I guess it's just more artsy than, than Lethbridge. Just more stuff going on. It's trendy, cool isn't music, it? music, shopping, trendy? restaurants, yeah. I'd say the people, to be honest. Yeah, the people are really friendly been, here, aren't they? They are. I've been a few places in Calgary. For the most part, has pretty good people. Have you gotten into the cowboy spirit of Calgary? Well, I'm still a Vancouver guy, so it's a little hard to get there. Yeah? But, uh, you know, the cowboy thing is good, so a lot of people do it and have a good time with it. Well, let me give you a cowboy expression that might help you out here. Yeah, doggies! Want to give that one a try? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? It's got some good nightlife, too, doesn't it? It does, yeah. The pubs are good. I'm yes, not big into the club that, life, actually. but the pubs are good. I could do without the clubs because I'm yeah. far too old, but boy, the pubs are pretty sweet. Yes, I like, they are, like they they are. Tara, what's the uh, coolest thing about Calgary? Oh, all the landmarks, I think. you got to check out Fort Calgary. It's incredibly cool. Lots of great people. The nightlife is great, lots of clubs. It's just, everyone's super friendly. You can talk to anyone on the street, basically. How would I look in this kind of attire? Would it work um, for me? I think you would look fantastic well, in it. Well, thank you, yeah? Yeah. I think it could work for me, because I've got that swimmer's build, so it might just, you know, it might work, eh? Yeah, well, yeah. and besides that, it always helps if people can't see your face. <laughs> so then they're taking their chances, either way, right? And super friendly, could you give me $50? I'm not that uh, If I had $50, maybe, <laughs> if it was for really? a good cause. We can maybe work something oh, I out. I like that. That is friendly. <laughs> okay. Well, one of the things you've got to do when you come to Calgary is to check out their world-famous zoo, which is conveniently located near downtown. And you know, this is a special afternoon for me because you know I have a rapport with the animals. Always have had. Really? Yeah. Okay. Roll tape. You know, when you think Australia, this is what you think of, kangaroos. Look, he likes me, Jim. He's... Yeah, that's a family show, but uh, <laughs> this is a six-year-old red kangaroo. His name is Mr. Jones, taking a great liking to Darren today. I like you too, Mr. Jones. <laughs> that was an anomaly. That really? That was an huh? anomaly that time. Uh, yeah. that, uh, you stay in touch uh, with that kangaroo? No, we, we don't talk anymore. <laughs> Stopped into the rainforest part of the zoo where you can check out a whole bunch of fantastic looking gorillas. Uh, pretty amazing how close they are to humans though. Yeah, they really yeah. are. And, uh, way in the back there with his back to us is the dominant male silverback gorilla, Kakinga. And uh, I guess the reason they turn their back is they don't like to make eye contact with people. Sign of aggression. Sign of aggression, yeah. So don't stare at them. Hey, look at the one gorilla over there. He's got a little fashion item there, a little sack on the head. <laughs> did you have a burlap sack on your head last night at the bar? I did, What's actually. that all yeah, about? But I wasn't silver. <laughs> Now, now yeah, we're here with an elephant. You, there's something you like to do at parties that always, it always gets laughs. Do you want to try that? Uh, elephant impression? Is that your elephant impersonation? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you're referring to? Well, hey, listen, yeah, that, that affinity for animals thing again that you were talking about. Uh, I think you might have heard me. Yeah. actually very cool and a little bit surreal. We're actually inside the penguin exhibit here at uh, the Calgary Zoo. This is the behind the scenes tour and we're actually going to get up close and personal with these very cool little guys and maybe even feed them. And this is nice because we've been fed the whole time we've been in Calgary. We're now going to do the feeding and let these guys eat from us. All right, I'm going to feed this, uh, this little penguin here now. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh okay. Oh, there okay. There go. I feel like a mother. There we go. This, this, uh, this penguin looks hungry here. Let me see. There you go. Wow, look at that. Swallows it whole. <laughs> That's incredible. Wow. No chewing you know, there at all. I've eaten like that myself in the past. There you go. You take that all down. That's incredible, hey? <laughs> wow. I think I had a dream like this once where I was the, the animal exhibit inside of a zoo and there was a bunch of people watching. We're actually on display here. Like, like yeah. Look at this. What is this guy doing? He likes my shoe here. He's, he's packing up my leg. Look, I think he likes me. He's got, he's got his foot on me. I've made a friend here at the Calgary Zoo. 
He's getting to know me. <laughs> He's getting to know me over here. Yeah. These penguins here are clearly a different species, uh, and I'm really digging that punk rock <laughs> hairstyle <laughs> they got going on. These are rock hoppers, I think they call them? Rock hopper penguins? Yeah. yeah. But very cool looking. It's yeah. just amazing how many different species there are. With the saddle dome far below us, we wrap things up high atop the Calgary Tower. But before we leave, as we always do, let's check out Jim and Darren's top five coolest things about Calgary. Number five. Enjoying our made-to-order drinks here at Market, thanks to Chief Mixologist Rebecca Davis. There's some dry muddling in my drink. Yes, cheers. There's Thank some you. Dry muddling. You're welcome. Number four, confronting my fear of heights at the observation deck here at the Calgary Tower. Look down there. Uh, take a look. The people are like little ants down there. Look at that down there, huh? Yeah, yeah. I just check it out. Yeah, yeah. I notice you're not looking down. Well, no, I'm, I'm trying to. Yeah, that's uh, that's just perfect. Number three, surviving Jim and Darren's pub crawl here in Calgary. That is a good drink. That is really good. You know? What? Actually nothing. Number two, it's gotta be fishing the mighty Bow River on a gorgeous day. Catch anything? No. This water's uh, very cold. I can't feel my extremities. How about you? Not at all. Totally numb. And the number one coolest thing about our trip to Calgary, it's got to be feeding our new penguin friends here at the Calgary Zoo. Look at that. He's going to swallow that thing whole. We'll see you next time on The Travel Guys. This is very cool. We're inside the exhibit. Yeah. Wow. While in Calgary, The Travel Guys stayed at Hotel Arts. Sponsorship for The Travel Guys provided by Plaza Premium Lounge. Travel Pro Luggage and Holiday Group, and Mavi Jeans. Come on, you take that. I really don't want it, actually. All right, There's thanks. a lot of bugs on it. Forget oh, it then. Great. Did that prove anything? Get ready for the aging moron. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm not doing this anymore.